Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Sharmat. In this session, we will discuss about another DB2 SQL function, which is multiply underscore ALT. What this function will do, it will take two argument and for both the argument, it will calculate the product. So whenever we are, whenever there is a requirement where we want to calculate the product of two numbers, in that case, we can utilize this multiply underscore ALT function. So this function also we can utilize with two ways. First one is using SQLRPG program. So in SQLRPG program you can use this as well as over the normal SQL query. I will show you the first way through SQLRPG program. So I will take option two for this program. And here what we are doing, first of all we are declaring one constant which is SQL state underscore valid with five times zeros. And this constant we will use to uh, verify the query whether it is executed properly or not. Now below to this we have one variable result one variable. This variable we will use to store the output which we are retrieving from the query. Below to this these three lines are optional for this uh, particular program like we are not doing any modification here. So you can if you want you can skip this. And here are the main query. So here what we are doing, we just use one command exec SQL uh, which is for executing the SQL and then we are using this multiply underscore alt which is for product right. So whenever you want to calculate the product you can use this function. This is the function syntax. So you need to pass first argument and second argument then it will calculate the product for both the values and store it into the host variable result one. And this is coming from from sysibm.systemy1. So once this line is executed, we will verify the query. So if it returns SQL state, which is equal to SQL state underscore valid, then display the result one. Else display the SQL state with an error message, query ended with an error. And if inlr on. Okay. So I hope this syntax is clear to all of you. Now let me call this program. So I will compile it first and now I'm calling this. So you can see it prints the value as 200, which is the product of 10 and 20. All right. Now we will see how we are using it over the normal query. Same syntax we are using just instead of host variable, I use this alias name. It is optional. Like if you would like to give any alias name, you can give otherwise by default it come with a, this title, right? We have already discussed this many times. So here I'm using this function multiply and underscore ALT for value 10 and 5. So if I hit enter here, you can see it is printing the product output as 50. Okay, so I hope both the method are clear to all of you. And in the next session, we will discuss few more things. So thank you for watching TechShare